Hi guys, hi my loves. So I have a very specific word that's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. I tell you guys all the time, listen, if you want to know if a word is for you, please take it to God. Also, God would have already confirmed that he would have said something to you, showed you a vision. He would have specifically revealed something to you that only you and him would specifically know and nobody else would know. But then it would definitely resonate with the word. You get what I'm saying? And that's how you'll know, okay, God, like, you know, this is the third time or the fourth time you're showing me confirmation of this. And I'm not talking about you watching like three or four or five different videos. No, because that, that is tricky. The confirmation has to come from God first, always, always. And let's just say that God shows you something and you may have missed it. For instance, you may have had a dream about something and you forgot the dream, or he may just showed you something in vision. You saw it, you didn't know what it meant. And then you receive a word, you watch a word from someone, or you hear something from a pastor or, or a prophet or someone, and then your memory is refreshed. You're like, oh, I did see this in a vision yesterday, or I did see this in a dream and I forgot. And then your memory is refreshed and then you get the message and the revelation in that moment where your memory is refreshed, right? That happens too sometimes, right? So I tell you guys all the time, like relating to kingdom marriages, husband and wife marriages, you know, messages, be careful with these because you have to understand that everyone's situation is not the same. And some people do do these messages for clout. You know what I mean? And again, always get your confirmation from God. So the Lord let me know that this year there are going to be for, I don't know who it's for, but for those of you guys that resonate with this, oh my gosh, (laughs) I love you, Holy Spirit. My goodness, my goodness. I can't tell you what just happened and what he just did because, again, I have to keep certain things. I wish I could just tell you guys. I wish I can. But I, I, for those that don't know, there's people who are copying my words and they're going back two years, a year, my words, copying my titles and saying everything verbatim. Even when I discuss like my relationship with the Holy Spirit, my personal relationship, I discuss specific things that he does and he says to me and specific things that he shows me in the spirit. And I discuss it because I wanted to help people. I wanted to help people who have similar gifts, who are experiencing some similar things, but they didn't know what it really is. So I thought sharing would help. But God revealed to me that there's people who are stealing it, pretending that they're having these experiences with him to make it seem like they're hearing from him and they're stealing my words verbatim. So I can't really go into detailed details when I when I experience specific you know, supernatural experiences that, yeah. But anyways, there's a group of people that God is releasing. Your, again, you just did it again. There's a group of people, God is releasing your kingdom marriage. Like God is, your marriage is happening. Your marriage is happening this year. This year. And nothing can stop it. Nothing could stop it. No love spell, no separation spell, no witchcraft. Nothing is going to stop the marriage that is going to happen. So there is um, either the marriage or the engagement. I just know it ha- I just know I saw the the rings. OK, the rings, the engagement confirmations for whoever it's for. And it's not just happening for one or two people. You know how everybody has a season where everybody will receive a blessing at a season? Like some people may have received their breakthroughs in summer, some in the fall, some in winter, you know? Everyone has a season, but we'll all kind of be going through like the similar types of battles, warfare, etc. It may not be exactly the same, but we'll, we'll go through similar things at similar times. And then some people will be like, okay, I'm getting a breakthrough while some are still going going through warfare and then some will you know they'll they'll get through that warfare and then they'll get their breakthrough you know so everyone's timing's different but this year there's a group of people who are supposed to be coming together with their kingdom partner okay i got specific instructions for a group of you 
the Lord showed me something and he revealed to me something about right person, wrong timing, okay? As in, this is the person for you, but the timing that you guys were around each other and, you know, you guys had the encounter was the right timing, but being together it was not the right timing. As in, I remember telling you guys this in the past. God will allow you allow there to be an introduction. So if this is some, if you know, if, if God knows that, okay, you're going to fall into the trap of counterfeits. You're going to fall into the trap of meeting people. And you may be like, oh, this is probably my person. God will allow there to be an encounter to where you meet your person, your husband or your wife. You meet them. So you know who they are. Because once you meet them, it's like that's when you start to... Because the connection, it's a connection between you and your partner and the Holy Spirit. When when there's a, a relationship destined from God, like an arranged marriage from God, when you meet that person, certain things are going to change in your life. As in, like, once you meet them, things are not going to be the same. You'll notice your gifts are stronger you're more sensitive, you're getting closer to God. Like you the person is going to awaken something within you. It's like a revelation, right? And something's awakened within you to where you're like, man, like this is different. So the encounter has to happen. Like you have to meet the person and some people don't meet the person until it's time for them to actually be with the person. So when you guys meet each other, you guys get into a relationship and he says, okay, I know that's my wife. She says, okay, I know that's my husband. Y'all pray on it. Y'all get the confirmation and then y'all live happily ever after. But not everyone's case is that way. That's why I said everyone's situation is different. Not everyone's case is that way. Some people, they have to have an encounter and then there has to be a separation. And the separation is from God, as in God will separate you guys for a bit before he brings you together. The reason being is because deliverance. Your partner needs deliverance. You need deliverance. Both of y'all have something going on in the bloodline. There's witchcraft. There's things, certain things that you guys have to release. And that's, that's the times when God will allow you guys to have an encounter, as in like you guys know of each other. You guys have met each other. You guys have seen each other. But he won't allow you guys to actually go into the relationship because things need to be cleared away before you guys go into the relationship, right? So basically, right person, wrong timing for the relationship. Right timing to meet, but wrong timing for the relationship. And because both of y'all did not have this awareness of that, you both were not on the walk, you guys did not have this awareness, relating to oh it's not the right time for us to be together one person may have been trying to forcefully enter the relationship right when they realized oh my gosh I think this is my person even though they didn't know it's not the right time even though they didn't know what's going on right and one person may have been pushing it away like okay I'm not ready for this or both of y'all may have tried to go into a relationship and then it didn't work out because of the the warfare the witchcraft people trying to separate you guys and all of that whatever happened it was not the right time for y'all to be in the relationship. It was the wrong time for y'all to be in the relationship, but it was the right time for you guys to have that encounter. And again, the reason why God will, not all the time for everybody, but God will sometimes allow there to be an encounter to where you guys meet each other in the first place is so you, because once you guys meet each other, then that, that's that revelation, that awareness. It's so you don't, you're not, um, manipulated and tricked into thinking a counterfeit situation is real because once you experience the real thing and you know it's from God and you have that encounter you're like God something's going on I've never felt this way before and it's not a physical thing God it's a spiritual thing like what is this I've never felt this in my entire life obviously that's when you're gonna seek God because sometimes certain things have to trigger us into seeking God because had we not experienced anything we probably wouldn't be on our knees praying and fasting had we not had a reason to this is why God allows us to go through certain warfare is because it's meant to teach us how to pray and fast and how to become stronger right and more equipped right so it's the same thing when you meet that person that God arranged for you to be with 
right? Because we have free will, but then there's arranged marriages from God, but it's really up to you. Because remember, yeah, we have free will, but you have to remember something. So it's really up to you to obey God, but you have to remember something. Even though you have free will, you have to understand that if you are called or if you are chosen by God or called by God and you're on the walk, God is going to have a role to play in your relationships. Like he's literally going to have a say so when it comes to your marriage. If you are actually called by him or actually chosen by him, like, and you actually have encounters with God and you pray and you have in your you have a relationship with God he's going to have a role to play in your relationship as in he's going to have a say so so when you meet the person that's even if you don't feel like it's the right person for you to be with right now or you, you don't want to be in the relationship he will show you it is the person he will show you that is your husband that is your wife and even if you choose not to obey he is still going to show you He's still going to show you his plan for your life, his will for your life, and let it be known that this is what he wants for you. So he's going to continue to show you. So you're not going to be confused because he's going to show you, right? But so in some cases, he has to show, he has to make an introduction for you to see the person or know who the, at least know who the person is because that way you're, you're not manipulated by the enemy or tricked into a counterfeit situation. And sometimes what may happen is one party may get tricked into it and the other party may not. Or both party may end up getting tricked into counterfeit situations. But in order to know the real from the fake, sometimes experiences is needed. You may think something is the real deal until you're actually in a relationship with them for you to realize, man, this wasn't even the real deal. And then you start to reflect back at you know, what you thought wasn't the real thing. And you're like, man, that was the real thing. That's, some people do get the revelations that way. Because you have to remember something, like I take us all the time. Just because you're on the walk and you're taking your walk seriously, you're praying, you're fasting, and God is giving you instructions, that does not mean that your partner is. Your partner may not even be on the same path as you right now. He may not even be, or she may not even be on the walk right now. But, she, but God knows that in a couple years or a year from now, he or she is going to seek him to where the revelation is going to be revealed. Right, And you have to remember something. A person who walks with Christ, who changes their life, and who's born again, you have to remember that their old life is gone. They're new again. Their old life is gone. They're, they're new. Which means that whatever, whoever they were back then, they're no longer that person. So you may be like, man, like, God, this, person's my, this person you said is my wife or my husband. And, you know, they they didn't want to be in a relationship with me back then why why did they not pick me or why did they not talk to me or why did they not want to move forward you have to remember the person may not have even been on the same walk the person may not have even been seeking god they may have still been in their worldly ways or their ways right and it's like again god may have just wanted you to know who they are but it was not the right time for you guys to actually be in a relationship and god may bring the person back to you when they're actually on the walk with him and they're fasting and they're praying and they understand warfare and they know what's going on and they had revelations and their old life is completely gone. They're new now. They're reborn. They're new now. And God is bringing them back to you for that will to be fulfilled, for that relationship to happen, right? But again, it's your decision to be obedient or to not be obedient to God's will for your life. That's your decision. No one can make that decision but you. Only you know your situation more than anybody else other than God. God knows your situation more than you. But you know what I mean, right? So the point of me saying this is God is bringing your king back. God is bringing your king. Your king is ready for you. And specifically what he showed me was Esther. And you have to understand something. Remember, before Esther met the king... She had to prep for 12 months. She had to prep for 12 months. Was it 12 months or 6 months? I don't remember. But she had to prep for 12 months. I think it was 12 months. She had to prep for 12 months or 6 months. Right? Remember, before Ruth met Boaz, before um, God brought Ruth to where Boaz was going to be for him to notice her, God also prepped Ruth. Ruth had to get herself together. Ruth had to fix up herself and get herself together. Right? See, in a situation like where you have not met the person yet and God is going to bring the person in for the first time and you meet the person, 
they may have had to been prepped you had to be prepped but in this particular word in this particular case this is actually someone that you know is your person and this is someone that god has already revealed to you as your person and they've they're changed they're new they're new as in like they're walking wholeheartedly with god they're new they're not who they used to be and they're coming for you and what had to happen was god had to prep you like he prepped esther except because esther's what esther's calling and what esther went through is not what you went through so you may have had to wait maybe less time than esther maybe four months before they came back or you may have had to wait longer than esther before they came back because the prep time you know determines based on what the obstacles are and what needs to be delivered what needs to be cleansed and some of you guys you are breaking not just one curse but a bunch and on top of breaking these curses you have people trying to put new curses on top of the old ones you're trying to break not just on your end but your person's end as well so there was a whole lot of deliverance that had to happen on both of y'all ends but God wanted to ensure that you guys would be on the same page before he gave your person the okay to come forward and you the okay to head into this because when it comes to his arranged marriage when God arranged a marriage for you there's no divorce allowed when it comes to God's arranged marriage. Remember, God's arranged marriage is not, oh, I picked a person I picked wrong and they abused me. God's arranged marriage is, this is my plan for both of y'all to come together according to my will. And I don't want y'all to come together until it's the right time for y'all to come together. So what, when you guys were separated, God allowed all these things to happen on their end and your end because that's what's going to lead to the revelations. And that is what trained both of you guys to be equipped enough to cover each other in your marriage. So I'm just passing on the word and I'm letting you know, I can't tell you what to do. I don't know your situation. I don't know everybody's situation. Because there's some people, they may have been heartbroken some people could have been something else i don't know i just know that there's a group of people getting engaged this year and the lord let me know that the the kings are coming for their esters that's what he let me know and you know so i'm just letting you know and um there was something else i was going to say and then it slipped my mind but it was really important Oh, yes, yes. If it is a... Thank you, Holy Spirit. If it is a situation where something happened in the past and you were heartbroken or whatever, pray. Pray on and talk to God. Remember something. When someone, If God ever lets anyone come back into your life, God doesn't want you to just open the door. You have to let this man or this woman prove themselves to you. Whatever you went through. He specifically told me the king's coming back, but... You have to let people prove themselves to you. There's nothing wrong with wanting someone to prove their love to you. There's nothing wrong with that. That should be, that should happen. That should happen. Because, especially if you were heartbroken in the past, you have to allow someone to prove themselves to you. There's nothing wrong with that. You have to allow them to prove themselves to you. So allow the man to lead when he comes back. And to prove himself to you, whoever this is for, allow him to lead. He is supposed to lead. When he contacts you or comes back, don't be blowing up his phone and trying to, okay, can we, can we meet up? Can we see each other? Oh my gosh, texting him back, paragraph. No, let him lead. Because a lot of us are forgiving. Like, okay, oh my gosh, you're back. Okay. No, you have to let the person lead, the man lead. Pray to the Holy Spirit. And let him show you. I know for a fact because there's certain things that I will do and God will come in the vision. Like, no, don't do this. He's he's very specific with me. 
Like, if I wanted to reach out to, like, a family member or something, he'll come through at night. Like, no. (laughs) So pray and ask. But I know that God wants you to let the man lead for those who have their king coming back. Because, yeah, I just want to, I'm just giving y'all the word. (laughs) Um, I'm just being obedient. So, yeah. Yeah, so anyways, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.